Welcome to What's Now. I'm your host, Christine Napier. This is a show all about what you need to know about, from products to great tips and ideas, recent research, and so much more. On today's episode, we are going to focus on Earth Month, also talk about traveling, especially during this new phase of the pandemic, also going to discuss a new docu-series, your health, and much more. But up first, we are rounding out Earth Month. I recently spoke with a specialist from the World Wildlife Fund all about small things that you can do to make a difference with the climate. Let's take a look. Today we are talking about Earth Month and some simple ways that you can help fight climate change and prolong the life of your clothes as well as saving money. Here to tell us all about it is Shili Bonini, a sustainability expert and SDP of partnerships at World Wildlife Fund. Sheila, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. April is Earth Month, and a new survey by WWF and Tide found that three in four Americans are looking for more ways to save energy in their daily routine. What are some simple ways that Americans can save energy at home, and why is it so important for us to do so? Thank you so much for asking. It's really important today um, as we see the increased frequency of natural disasters like hurricanes and wildfires. We know we all have to do our part. And the good news is there's a lot of things that we can do around the home that save energy and that can add up and uh, make a big difference. Um, some things that people do at home, folks you know, are aware of and may be familiar with, like turning out your lights when you leave a room or turning down the thermostat. But there's other things they're less aware of, like switching to LED lights or washing in cold water. In fact, six out of seven Americans consciously try to turn off the lights when they're not using them. But only 0.5%, that's half a percent of Americans think about washing in cold water when they think of eco habits that can save energy in the home. And that's a real shame because washing in cold water actually saves a lot of energy. Um, switching from hot to cold saves 90% of the energy usage of washing a load of laundry. And to put it in context, that's the equivalent of running the average American home for an hour. So one load of laundry is about an hour of powering a home. And if you wanna consider that there are 25 billion loads of laundry that we wash each year, you can imagine how you know, making some kind of change there could have a big impact, which is why we're partnering with Tide to try to switch three out of four loads of laundry in the US uh, by 2030 to washing in cold. And if we succeed in this goal, it'll be the equivalent energy savings of all the energy to power New York City and San Francisco for more than a year. So you can see how this small action, when you take it over millions of households, you know, over the course of time, you can actually have a really significant impact for the planet. So we're hoping that washing in cold will become an eco habit that's just second nature for people and they don't even think about it. What about performance? I know many people learn that to truly clean clothes, that you need to wash them in hot or warm, as well as to kill germs. So tell me about that. Yeah, it's a really good question. And it's part of um, why, as part of this partnership, we're looking into, we're doing research on consumer behavior to try to understand barriers to washing in cold water. And we think one of it is awareness. People might not know that they need to switch the dial or they might not know it saves energy. But uh, we also think it's this perception of performance. Luckily, today's laundry detergent technologies, they're designed to perform in cold water. So the good news is that, you know, you get the performance, you get your clothes clean, and actually washing in cold prolongs the life of your clothes, so it's better for your clothes. We know it's better for the environment because you can save energy, and it's also good for your pocketbook. So whenever you save energy, you save money, and, um, you know, washing in cold can save about $150 in energy bills uh, per year for a household. It definitely sounds like a win-win-win for the planet, for our expenses and clothing. So anything else that we should know before we go, especially as Earth Month winds up, and where can we get more information? 
Yeah, super. So one thing I think um, that's really important is I know, you know, Earth Month, we think about the challenges for the planet. It seems so daunting, but it's really important to remember that, you know, just doing some of these little things in your house, like washing on cold water, can really add up to a big impact. So, you know, all of us can actually make a change just doing some little things. So really encourage people to do that. Uh, if you want to find out more uh, about sustainable living tips, you can look on our website, worldwildlife.org, or for your laundry needs, you can go to tide.com. Well, thank you so much, Sheila Bonini, for joining us today from the World Wildlife Fund. Really appreciate these important and simple tips during Earth Month. Thanks for your time. Oh, thank you for having me, and happy Earth Month. <laughs>